Okay, it's been about uh, six weeks, I think, since I've messed with this thing. Uh, I finally ordered parts, uh, got the parts in, and uh, gonna finish it up hopefully this weekend. Uh, I've already honed this cylinder and lapped the valves, so now I'm gonna just uh, reapply a coat of grease to this thing, and then I've got the other jug sitting here. I'm going to set this one aside and uh, I'll kind of show you how I uh, do this. First off, you remember I greased these up real good. So that they wouldn't rust. So I guess step one is to remove all of that grease. And the grease worked. They've been, like I said, six weeks or so, been sitting here. And you can see where I forgot to coat those surfaces, and that's all that rusted. So, and that's nothing to worry about. So you can see in the one that I already did, the cross hatching. Oops, I left a big spot of grease there. Nice going. Now uh, here. You really can't see it as well. It's still there, but then back here, if I can get rid of the shadows. Yeah, so you can see where the piston stopped. So uh, basically, just got this on my drill. I've got some nice, clean 10W40 oil is what I'm using. You can use whatever you have. Make sure it's, you know, clean, fresh, new oil. Coat the whole bore. Clean our rag. Okay, and now we're just gonna Press this and slip it in there. Now there are tons of videos on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of information about honing a cylinder out there. Um, you know, check it out. There's a lot of information out of there. Out there. Uh, I'm just kind of going to show you what I do. I like to keep it fairly slow, and uh, I'll just start. So you don't want to stop with that in there and drag it out. That's why I pull it out and you hear a little clunk. And then you can already start to see getting some cross hatching in there. So I'm going to put some more oil in there and just continue. The angle is very important. Like I said, do some reading if you haven't done this before. Watch some videos. Uh, there's a lot of information out there. I just did what I told you not to do. So, I'm going to clean this out some. And then I'll show you. I'm not done, but uh, I'll do the rest of that off camera. Spare you from watching the video. Actually, that looks pretty darn good already. You can see the cross hatch starting to develop in there. So, that'll need more, but uh, like I said, I'll finish that up off camera. Uh, let's see, valve lapping now. All right, so what you've got is this little suction cup tool and then some valve lapping compound. And all you're doing is just getting the, the two to seat together, really. So, 
just get some compound on the freshly grown face. Doesn't take a ton. Uh, you don't want to get this stuff everywhere. It's hard to clean off and uh, nothing will destroy your motor like lapping compound. So I'm just going to spread it around a little bit like that and then work it back and forth. Occasionally pick it up and turn it. So I'm going to pick it up and turn it. That way you get the whole valve. Okay. Let's take a look at the valve real quick here. You can see it's got a nice starting to grind in there. So that's actually pretty decent. Let me do just a little bit more. If you don't lap your valves though, they, they don't they will never seat right. So definitely a, not a step that you can skip. Spin it to spread the compound and then now I'm not really uh, applying any force. Just kind of let it work. Okay. Clean this all up and see I try to keep the compound off my gloves and everything because you just spread it everywhere if you don't. So you get a nice ring all the way around there. And then if you look at the let's get this valve out. And you should see a nice surface all the way around that valve then. If you look at the two you can see the difference. This one's done, this one's not, so that's pretty much it for lapping valves. Uh, I'll do the intake off camera, and then uh, the only other thing I do is I'll take and wash this whole thing with like some simple green uh, and air pressure and just really, really clean it well. Uh, you, you, just, you do not want that lapping compound in the motor. It's... Uh, you know, it's basically liquid sandpaper, so you can imagine the destruction it'll cause. So that's pretty much it for cylinder prep. Uh, I think uh, probably get the crankcase together next.